Libra, good day. I don't know why I was prompted to say that. Good day to Libras across the land, across the world. Welcome. This will be your weekly reading May 30th through June 5th, 2022. As I was saying a prayer before the reading, I closed my eyes and it was just a fast prayer. And as I opened my eyes, it was like coming back down to earth almost. So I feel like at this time, Libra, your prayers or any meditation is going to be ultra powerful. Starting with the Empress at the bottom of the magical dog's companion, Tarot. This is really wild, you guys. I'm going to show you right now because I'm just now noticing this synchronicity and I love it. I have a meditation in the background playing that has a waterfall on it. And it's the honestly the first meditation I've ever played with a waterfall in the imagery. And I'm just now noticing the waterfall in the background of this Empress card. Libra. Okay, pause. I have to show you guys. How sway? How? How, 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 Wow, Libra. So we have divine synchronicity, not even two minutes into your weekly reading. Um, the spiritual significance of a waterfall is a symbol of calmness, purity, and the diversity of nature. Seeing them also carries a lot of positive meanings. Very spiritually significant. It asks you to release any negative energies in your lives. Letting go of things that are not important anymore. And it's an act of purifying. We are under the influence of the new moon in Gemini. Right now, right now, I'm making this reading the morning of May 30th. New moon in Gemini peaks 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Waterfall, Libra. <clears throat> so the message here, we are entering into a time of calmness and purity after a lot of trickster energy or dark energy. This is the devil card, the trickster. I just cut to it. Wow. I'm going to shuffle three times on camera. The world. That escalated fast. Okay, let's go. You went from Major Arcana, the devil, to the world card, Libra. Interesting. Um... I heard guide stones. Hmm. Just looking at that card. Or maybe you're visiting any type of site um, that could have spiritual significance of some kind or sacred site. Battleground, even. Six of Cups. Look at them all swimming. Oh, my gosh. Yo, Libra, what's in the background of this Six of Cups? I'm like, Dora, you guessed it. A waterfall. I do a really bad Dora voice. <laughs> what on earth? 
Let's go. What is the situation for Libra this week? Thank you so much, Spirit. Wow. The world card. We have to read it now. Look at that. Double confirmation. King of Cups at the bottom. The Sea Alpha male. Whoa. What is this world card for you, Libra, for us? I like it. I like it a lot. At the center of the arcane canine world, reared up on her hind legs, there is a joyous dancer. She stands before a weathered stone formed as a doorway and perched on a precipice. From here, she can look outward to encompass the whole world in her gaze. Upon her shoulders lies a laurel wreath, symbolic of success and victory. It marks the great achievement she has earned by completing the difficult journey to this high place. The laurel is bound with red ribbons, twisting in the breeze to resemble the symbol for infinity referencing that all lies within her power the four corners of the monument behind her are painted with the symbols of the four elements and remind her of the many cycles of the universe expressed in four the elements the seasons the cardinal directions and of course the packs themselves. Look outward and you'll find that you can see forever. Turn around and look at how far you've come. Everything has come to fruition or is just about to. As you celebrate this landmark, dance with abandon and joy. Enjoy <clears throat> the praise and accolades bestowed on you. You are top dog. This is about completion, achievement, triumph, fulfillment, ecstasy, goals reached, and travel. I, I know I got that feeling of visiting some type of spiritual site, sacred site, okay? Some type of site that has a lot of history to it. Libra, you're going to receive a download there. Very powerful. Um, some of you, your life will change from that moment on. It's like, ah, uh, a really big epiphany. Wow. Wow. Where should Libra not focus this week? Thank you so much, Spirit. Where should Libra not focus their energy? <clears throat> Wow, serious. Okay, I heard reverse it. Libra, justice. But I heard reverse it. So let's see what this justice card in reverse means. Oh, and look what's at the bottom. Nine of fire, nine of wands. <clears throat> Being too defensive. Don't be ultra defensive this week, Libra. Guard against being unfair. I'm feeling with justice in reverse and the nine of wands at the bottom guard against being unfair. What does justice in reverse mean? Yeah. Try not to be reactionary or bias in justice. Okay. Where should Libra focus instead? Look, it's, again, this justice card, the dog is in between four pillars. And I just heard the four corners. The four angels that guard 
the four corners. Where should Libra focus their energy instead this week? Aw, Libra! On feeling like a young pup. <laughs> puppy energy. You got the fire puppy. Page of Wands. And look what's back at the bottom. So this is very interesting. Two messages here. Now I'm feeling with the nine of fire coming out with the fire puppy of where to focus your energy instead. Guard against anyone that is trying to shoot down your dreams. Okay. Fire puppy, where Libra should focus instead. You are full of creativity, curiosity, and wonder in the world around you. Let that enthusiasm carry you to new adventures. Express yourself, Libra. Embrace the passion for life again. Even if you're new at something, if you are brave enough, keep your head about you and please don't give up. You could become a great innovator and visionary. Your fresh perspective could change everything. So Libra, do be fearless, do be brave, free spirit, innovation, awakening passion, daring and inspirational. Embracing those energies. And I just saw 12, 12 on the timer. Ooh, and my right ears ringing. Okay. What does 12, 12 want to tell us? Let me grab my computer. Hold on. The angels are like, ah, ah, ah. I've been seeing 1212 a lot lately, so what is the spiritual symbolism of angel number 1212? According to Psych News Daily, seeing a 1212 number sequence frequently can mean that your guardian angels are supporting, surrounding, and protecting you. The number may bring you a sense of deep tranquility, love, or peace. The angel number 1212 can serve as a sign that you are about to be blessed with abundance in your life, Libra. So all you need to do is guard against those dream doubters, those dream killers. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> I just saw 1313. 13. <laughs> Likely outcome, Libra. I just saw the sky guardian likely outcome libra the strength card oh my gosh this is such a good read let's read it look at this beautiful strength card i would have flipped out if it had a uh waterfall in the background <laughs> what a gorgeous card wow with the shaman at the bottom. Some of you are being initiated, Libra. You are enduring. You are undergoing the initiation process. Yeah, confirmation. Strength. In this tranquil scene, a great Dane lounges on the green grass, surrounded by flowers in bloom and majestic blue mountains beyond. A small kitten pounces and then grasping and biting, attacks the wagging tip of the dog's tail. With unflappable calm, this patient giant observes his feline ward. Despite the powerful impulses of his canine instincts, 
He resists all urges to strike back against the many needle-sharp jabs digging into his tail. Understanding, compassion, and maturity stay his paw. Self-control, tolerance, and love can soothe this ferocious feline. The strongest position is one of control over your own actions and reactions. Compassion towards those weaker than you is the true test of a powerful dog. Instincts are important, but sometimes overcoming them can be beneficial. Learning not to bend to a reactive, knee-jerk position can empower your spiritual maturity and help you grow in a positive way. This is about strength, resolve, patience, self-awareness, courage, compassion, tolerance, and self-control. Interesting reading with the tarot this week, Libra. We'll have to see how it plays out um, with the dailies. Wow. Let's keep going. Energy Oracle. What's the energy this week around Libra? What is the energy this week around Libra? There's that shaman energy, that healer energy. Libra. What is the energy around Libra this week? Whoa, 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 whoa. The world. Libra. Whoa, 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 whoa. The healer back at the bottom. Shaman. We started the tarot with the world. What's up? Look at this. Do you know how powerful you are? Do you know who you are becoming? Channeled message is what I'm getting right now. Some of you are going to experience moments where you feel on top of the world. Bird's eye views. You're going to think, is this my, is this the pinnacle? Is this like the pinnacle? Nope. It's going to get better. I know. Unbelievable. You're going to be like, what? It's going to get even better. Yep. Some of you are meant to bring healing to the world. That's no small potatoes, Libra. The world is watching many of you. Advice for Libras that the world is watching. <laughs> walk through that door Libra wow the door to value the world is watching you walk through the door to value the door that's opening for you is gonna you're, <laughs> it's windfalls Libra it's windfalls it's abundance But, 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 too good to be true, right? But, 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 
Nothing's too good to be true. You've manifested this. All right? But with the good, with the great, with the awesome, may come some bad. We have deceit at the bottom of the deck. So, what is Libra's advice here? What is Libra's advice here? Libra's advice, please. Anxiety is our advice. <laughs> no, but guess what's at the bottom? The door to spirit. You've been here, done this. You've already experienced these moments, these times. In reverse, reverse it. And keep the door to spirit open. Have no fear. Keep your faith, okay? And keep the door to spirit open. That spiritual connection. Keep it open. Keep it going. Every day. Every day, Libra. Keeping the door open to spirit and the divine is like Eating an apple every day keeps the doctor away. Keeping your spiritual connection strong and communicating with spirit, with the divine, with your team, with your angels every day is going to keep the anxiety at bay. They're going to help you make the right decisions when it comes to this big money energy. Okay? Wow, let's get an astrology card now. Weekly reading, May 30th through June 5th. One astrology card for Libra. Woo! It's a lot of energy. One astrology card for Libra. Please and thank you. I'm taking two. Wow. Wow. <sighs> What's at the bottom? I cannot. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Getting ready to go direct on June 3rd. Midweek. We have Uranus and the moon. I want to see what these tarot corresponding tarot cards are. 52, the moon. If this is the world card, I'm, I'm going to flip. Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> it's the eight of cups. It was just the last card. Interesting. Yeah, having a sense of everything being unreal. Very airy this start off of the Gemini season. I told you in the beginning of this reading, I felt like you can connect instantly. As soon as you pray, as soon as you close your eyes, as soon as you begin to meditate, it's like you connect instantly, Libra. The connection is strong right now. Keep your connection to spirit strong right now. The moon is a friend for the lonesome to talk to. New moon energy, releasing the past. We're entering a sense of calm. Like miss me with the erratic energy, right? Miss me with the erraticness. 
What is this number nine card? The tower. This has a lot to do with physics, research, robots, science fiction, space travel, planets, outer space, UFOs, aliens. Okay, you know what I'm getting here, Libra? Honestly, everyone's going to have an opinion about you right now, all right? Everyone's got their own opinion about Libra. Whether you're living in the upright, whether they think you're living in the reverse, whether they think you're doing good, whether they think you're doing wrong, it doesn't matter what matters is you getting back to who you are and you embracing that passion, that youthful vigor, that creativity. The world is watching regardless. Your likely outcome is strength. You do have to remain very restrained. Don't pop off. You made it through this entire Mercury retrograde Libra. You know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, most likely, without having to pop off on anybody. Maybe you may, you may have had some testy moments, okay? You may be tested again one more time this week, right? We've got Mercury retrograde at the bottom of the astrology deck. You're stronger. Stay calm. You're entering a time of peace. Yes, you can feel the energies around you. Have no fear. Don't be anxious. Yes, the world is watching. Let's get you a Zodiac message. I'm going to actually separate the planets from the signs and we're going to get a message both using both okay so first off we shuffle the planet cards twice I'm hearing and then we pull two there's a secret message here just for you. Libra. There's one. Venus. Makes sense. What goes with Venus? Please and thank you. Mars. <laughs> oh, wow. Opposites attract. Venus and Mars energy, Libra. Let's see what the message is here. Let yourself burn with a fiery passion for those things that capture your heart. Do not hold back from the power of love. Wow, and that's so wild. Fire. We got a fire card as the energy where to focus instead. And Venus and Mars says, let yourself burn with a fiery passion for those things that capture your heart, Libra. Do not hold back from the power of love. Yes. All right. What zodiac signs are all in Libra's energy or trying to be in Libra's energy this week, spirit? I just saw Leo. What zodiac sign is really in Libra's energy at this time? Woo! Gemini. Okay. Gemini heavy. And we do have an Aries at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to end it with a spirit animal card. It's getting kind of long. We're approaching 30 minutes. 
This was your weekly tarot and oracle forecast for May 30th through June 5th, 2022, Libra. New moon in Gemini. Here it is. Wow, we got this yesterday. I'm pretty sure in the live stream. Horse. Trust your feelings. This is also all about power, Libra, and having the freedom, okay? You have freedom and power at your fingertips is what I'm hearing. Trust your feelings. Trust those feels. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give me a big thumbs up if you found messages here so I can reach more Librans on YouTube. I appreciate you so very much for all the love and support. Always stay balanced and stay blessed. Peace.